Hello, this is Carrier again, and I am reviewing today Tropical World by Millie uh, Morata, if I pronounce that correctly. If not, I do apologize. I am terrible with names. Um, this book is double-sided. It retails for $14.95, although the Amazon.com price is uh, $8.22. It's on thick paper, 96 pages, a little smaller than 10 by 10 inches, and it features tropical flora and fauna. So let's get started. This has some nice uh, foil on the cover, if that matters to you. Um, one thing this book doesn't have that a lot of books have is it doesn't have, well, part of, part of it is because the, the front page design is so huge. It doesn't have a smaller version of the front page design on the title page. That's not really required. That's just, once again, maybe a nitpicky. I apologize for that. Um, let's see here. This is for a page that I'm working on right now, trying out some new pencils. Um, that I will be reviewing later. It's a little difficult to get both pages in because it is kind of a big book and my tripod is rather small, but let me pan out. I'm just gonna pan out on some pages to show you um, some of them. So you won't get the full detail for all pages, but for some of the most interesting ones, I'll give you um, both pages. So it's it's quite fine detail. Um, I'm gonna zoom in in a minute and show you some of this is another page that I'm working on. I work on a lot of pages at once. This is a great place to show you some of the, the fine detail that's on here. If you wanna work on, the, on that level of detail, you can. It's not so small that you need for your pencil to be absolutely pointy. So you can do this on a regular pencil without having it to be super sharp. Um, but if you want to, you can have, you know, you can work on those fine details. Like you saw what I did, um, with my page as I largely, a lot of times I ignore a lot of the, the lines and just work with what I think. So you can do that and get some really interesting designs that way. In fact, I think that's how most people that I've seen pages of this online have done is they basically ignored the lines that they did, that they wanted to ignore and listen to the lines that they want to listen to. So it is very, very flexible in that way. Um, so you get a lot of really fun things. There's birds, there's all sorts of things. This is definitely a book where I personally would get out a reference photo because that's how I messed up my pineapple. I was trying to make it look like a realistic pineapple, but I think I did it wrong. So I would definitely get yourself a reference photo for some of these pictures. Uh, you don't have to follow the reference photo, but it'll definitely help a lot with, with these. Um, and then you can see what parts of the, the reference photo you wanna ignore, or if you wanna ignore it altogether. But you know, I would at least consider looking at a reference photo for some of these pages here. Um, I think I need a bigger tripod. This is a really fun one, or it's these four fish, so you can do one in different colors or, um, or you can do them in different styles, so that's fun. Some of the pages are, you know, if you saw one of my other book reviews, I don't like it when the pages are like that as they are here. But because most of the pages aren't like that, I'm, you know, only gonna give it a minor fault for that. That's very minor, especially since most of the pages, oh, sorry. Um, especially since most of the pages um, you do have you know, you do get a lot of coloring room. This is probably one of the, the I don't know if I would have done this here. I probably, like, the, that's the hard thing is that, you know, they do the art and then do the binding separately. I probably would have tried to find a section where I can have it be without having it to do that, but I don't even know if that's possible. That's probably not even possible. Like, I'm probably requesting something that's not possible, but that was, that was a little disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. I've seen people color that page just fine there's a, there's some insects in here if you've seen me in the past i'm not a insect person although i know some people are there's various sorts i think is this a it's a whale fish i think this might be a whale fish i could be wrong don't quote me on the animal species um because as we saw in the other book i'm not so good at identifying coloring book animal species although this is a fun page i've seen some great things done with this page so you can definitely do a lot here um, with a lot of the pages. Um, there's a there's some insects here. You know, there's there's definitely like if you're a fan of insects, this is probably a really good book to get. Um, it's not overly floral like some books I know. Um, there's your sea turtles. I love sea turtles. I wish we had more books with sea turtles. There's some um, some. Uh, I guess tropical cactus. I guess I guess you can have tropical cactus, although I'm not quite sure. But you know, there's some cactus there. Uh, so all in all, this is a really nice book. This is another really fun page. I'm gonna zoom out for this one. I'm gonna 
go out. Face YouTube is gonna complain that this, the video is shaky. But I wanted you to see that full one in its full glory. And I think that that's about it. And it's as always, I really enjoy when books have, you know, a page for you to check your medium. That was me trying out different things. And I have here for us, I have here for us, I have, I did, this is the Fiber Castell Pit Pen. And this is the Copic marker. And as always, you see the Copic marker bled, although not as much as I, I have seen it bled in the past. And then this is your color pencil. Let me check the, uh, also this is my watercolor color pencil, sorry. And as always, I wanna check the watercolor pencil-ness of it. I'm not sure watercolor pencil-ness is a word though. It's usability for water. This is a lot of water, this is probably too much this is definitely not probably this is definitely too much water but it takes it just fine so that's a good sign like some books start to you know change color when you use this much water but this does seem to take it just fine so that's a great sign oh yeah you can definitely use watercolor here oh this is lovely you see how well that takes that oh yeah that's really nice That's really nice compared to some of the other books that I've I've looked at. So that's great. So this definitely can take watercolor pencils. Um, and that is it. Um, that is Tropical World by Millie Morata. I am terrible at pronouncing names. Somebody should do like a... Anyway, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Sorry about that. I do apologize for that in advance. Um, so this has been another review. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I have all sorts of giveaways going on right now. I have uh, the giveaway for the Spectrum Noir, which goes until December 2nd. And um, I have all sorts of other giveaways coming up as well. And I really want to thank the Lark Crafts publisher for sending me out a review copy, which I really, really appreciate. Um, so thank you so much for watching this review and subscribe to my channel if you like this video and like the video if you like this video. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.